Morning guys, uh, this is Dong and uh, we'll do a review of these three goggles, okay? One is a Speedo, very famous brand. Secondly is this, uh, this one is the Aquasphere, okay? And finally we have here the TYR. So let's see what we can do about these three goggles and see what can we recommend for triathletes. Thank you. Um, 100 meter swim for each of these goggles. And then we'll see what we can do about this for our uh, review later on. Woo! That was a cool uh, 100 meter swim with this Aquasphere. And next, and next we have here the uh, Speedo. Again, one of the famous brands for swimming and see what we can do. Woo! A good morning to start with Speedo. Thank you. Finally, for our last review, TYR. Famous for triathlon. The morning and I did already see uh, 300 meters for the three goggles see you later bye <clears throat> uh, good afternoon uh, as I was telling you earlier we will do a review of these three goggles the one that I used this morning one the TYR the Aqua Spear Cayenne and the other one is a Speedo Aqua Pure Mirror okay so I did uh, at least 100 meters for every goggles now, all I can say is that um, these three goggles are extraordinary goggles, but nevertheless, they have the, their respective characteristics. Now, um, this TYR, I really like the uh, design. It's quite uh, funky with different colors, but we're not about the form here. We're about the functionality of the goggles. So, you can see the uh, silicone... Uh, band all around the frame is quite uh, okay for me because this one really fits the socket of your eyes two sockets and all, not only that the uh, the adjustable design of uh, TYR is also would come in handy because uh, you can have it adjusted anytime you want but I guess you cannot uh, adjust this while doing your swim either in the open water or in the pool when I bought this one about last year, about maybe September or November, and I've been using this for almost three months now, so I guess the, uh, the tint in front has already faded, in fact some of them are already removed, so that is not a good point as far as I'm concerned. But one thing that I really like about TYR is the way it, uh, the, the, the silicone uh, fits on my socket, it's really uh, you feel so confident and the leak is very minimal unless you have you have not uh, properly adjusted the uh, the one here at the back so uh, you have to adjust this accordingly so that you'll have the uh, the uh, this one the silicone uh, fit your socket accordingly well one thing that i don't really like about this goggle TYR is that the uh, the nose uh, pads here it's, it is really it's fixed so meaning uh, you have no time to have it adjusted because uh, it's already uh, um, glued by by the uh, company and that's one of the drawbacks because uh, unless uh, it will fit you properly then that would be fine for you but for me it's it's a bit something that they may have should have uh, considered now with respect to the strap uh, the strap is also um, okay because uh, you have to adjust this uh, from the lower back of your head and this one the upper portion so it will snug accordingly to your head um, that's why it is a good fit now with respect to this TYR the anti-fog property um, 
according to the manufacturer, there is a undefined property which is, according to them, is effective if you will check on the reviews on the internet. But when I bought this one and actually used this uh, during my uh, uh, workout and training, I really don't see the point that there is really this good uh, anti-fog property that's being claimed by TYR. So when I bought this last year and about and using this for about a couple of weeks last year, I had to buy this anti-fog anti spray of TYR so that I can um, uh, so that there will be no fog that will limit in, in, the, in, in, the, in the inside of the lens. So that is not a good point and I don't believe that there's really an anti uh, property that's uh, effective as far as this TYR is concerned. But according to the manufacturer, the anti fog property is embedded in the, in the lenses uh, of these uh, goggles. But then again, it's not really effective. Now, going back to this Aquasphere Kayin, for me, among these three goggles, the Speedo and the uh, TYR, this is the most, for me, it's very handsome, you see. Uh, I had one like this before. By the way, this is owned by uh, Kirby, one of the teammates in uh, Team Triumph. I just borrowed this from him for, for the review. I had one like this before, but I don't really like the way it fits my uh, sack. Now, with respect to this Aquasphere, um, if, if you are after the form, this one is for you. But for me, when I bought um, my Aquasphere last year, I was not really um, satisfied because of the leak that's really coming from this portion. You see, um, the um, silicon rubbers from on these frames, the, these two frames, are quite thinner compared to this one. This one is quite thicker. So you have to have this adjusted accordingly so that it will fit your the socket of your eyes but in my case i i was not really uh, satisfied because of the constant leaking that i was experiencing when i was using my aquasphere last year so i had to keep it at home and just be there um but one thing that's good about this aquasphere is, is this trap the way it is uh, designed you see if you want to have this uh, a bit uh, um, fix into your eyes all you have to do is to pull the uh, the outer portion of the strap just like that see it's moving all you have to do again is to press this one if, if you want to have this adjusted uh, to loosen up the strap press the upper portion of the uh, of the ends of the um, goggles like that one and pull the inner portion of the strap, of the, uh, strap like that one see so I think this is a good point because if you're swimming open in open water or in the swimming pool, there's no need for you to stop or to do your treading just for you to adjust the uh, strap. So it's a good point. Compared to this one, it's quite fixed and you have to do is to stop really. So you to stand or if you're in open water, hold somewhere or just to do your treading and before you can have this adjustment. But this one is really perfect. It's a good uh, idea. It's a good design. It's, it, it's very handy as far as this aquasphere. But then again, I, I noticed that the aquasphere is quite flexible, you see? The frame, both the frames are quite flexible. So I think that's one of the points why, that's why this is quite confib. If this uh, fits your eyes, if it is fixed in your face, it's quite confib. So you have a good uh, peripheral view of uh, uh, both sides, left or right. So if you're doing your open water swim, uh, you can see the... Uh, the, the 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 left portion of where you're swimming or the right portion depending on your um, strong side whether you're taking the breath from your left or on your right so that's a good point again it's quite flexible but compared to this one the TYR it's, it's really hard no? you cannot you cannot flex the the uh, goggles itself but again I can see that uh, there's no need a bit uh, flexible uh, frame because of the um, quite thicker uh, silicon. But for the anti fog uh, properties of this aquasphere, well, for me it's not it's not really that good because the fog will still be there, even if uh, according to the manufacturer there is an anti fog. But I don't see any anti fog 
property somewhere here. So fog will always be there. So be careful and you have to to be uh, accustomed to it for, for whether the, the water is cold or warmer. So it will depend on the condition and of course the the, the, uh, the your perspiration, you know, from uh, coming from your eyes. Now about the strap. The strap is also a balanced design because you see the 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 inner portion is quite tapered, like that one. It's also this one. So this holds. This really fits into your back of your head properly, and also it's quite sticky. If you can just feel the uh, back portion of the strap, it's quite sticky. So this will really fit accordingly to your head. There's no problem of. Uh, this being removed while you're doing your swim in the open water in the pool. Unless, of course, someone will intentionally pull it while you're in, in triathlon ring. Now, finally, we have here the, uh, the Speedo. Um, well, I, I bought this last year and I'm really a fan of a goggles with this finish, mirror finish. So, when I bought this one, I was really into form, not not more of a how, how it would really uh, fit my, my eyes uh, but then again uh, when I used this one last year I am not really I'm really I'm sorry I'm, I'm disappointed because this does not really fit into my socket of my eyes and of course the rubbers for this one the left and right they are they are quite hard so you can feel the uh, the rubbers are really pushing uh, the, the your skin so you you can feel the tension whenever you wear this one, and um, also the uh, it's, it's very difficult for you to adjust the uh, the strap at the back. You'll have hard time adjusting it while you're uh, you're you're uh, doing your uh, swing. And of course the strap, I don't think these are this is made of silicone. I don't know about it, but for me I think it, it feels like a rubber rather than a silicone. So. It, it's not really that flexible compared to a silicone strap like this one or this one and also uh, but one thing good about it is that uh, the the, uh, the nose uh, bridge uh, when I bought this one uh, the vax the, the box uh, has about four of these so you can have it adjusted depending on the uh, uh, comfort that you would uh, prepare whether it's the, the the goggles are farther from each other or near from each other, so it will depend. So this one is a good point. You can have this uh, removed and have it replaced by available. Again, one thing that I really like the most about these Speedo goggles that the anti-pug properties that are really embedded here at the back of the lens lenses. So they are already outside actually. So if, if this one is, if you're using this one in, in the swimming pool, you can feel that uh, something is quite slippery if you will touch this inner portion of the goggles, of the lenses. Because the anti pug system is already outside. So meaning, if you have moisture uh, while you're wearing this one and doing your swim, the, the moisture will integrate, disintegrate into the uh, anti fog properties. So you will have a better, uh, a clear view of the, this, uh, clear view of what you're uh, looking at while you're swimming compared to this one. No, it's not good. And also this one. This one, the anti pug uh, property, is amazing. It's so, again, if you're into form, you're into a sporty look, sleek one, this one is good for you. Again, if you like a more aggressive uh, approach to your swimming style and uh, look a bit uh, aggressive, I may say, this one is recommended for you. However, if you're into really something that really uh, give you comfort while swimming and assurance that you will finish the, uh, the uh, 1.5 swim or 1.9 swim depending on the race that you're uh, uh, joining, whether 5150 or 70.3, this one is for me is the best. But then again, these are all only my review and my um, recommendation I guess it's time for you to get one of these and try it for yourselves and then let's see what you can do and again um, thank you for watching for this uh, review of these uh, goggles 
for uh, triathletes. Finally, this one is DYR, Special Ops. This one is the Aquaspear, Cayenne. And finally, we have here the uh, Speedo. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye.